Today, we are going to be building the best security tunnel. Oh my god, I love security tunnels. Me too, Don, and we have 10 minutes to build it. Which side do you want to pick? The incredible purple side or the green side? Of course, I'm going to choose the awesome green side. All right, and I'm going to get the purple side because purple is a way better color. All right, Don, you're definitely going to lose. <laughs> no way. All right, now we have to build the tunnel. All right, and we're going to place a block here, and we are going to go really far all the way to the other side. Let's keep going. And I think this should be good enough. So let's build up here, and we'll select this, and we'll use this command to fill this whole thing with diamond blocks. And now let's select this side, and we'll go all the way back to the other side. And let's select right here, and we'll use this command to get rid of all the diamond blocks in the inside. And now we have our tunnel. Now we're going to build a wall on the front of the tunnel, and this is where our fake entrance is going to be. All right, and now we have our wall, and we're going to put two signs right here, and then we're going to put a green banner right here. So now Don is going to see this green banner, and because it's green, and green is Don's favorite color, he's going to think that this is the real entrance. And on this side, we are going to put a bunch of lava, so that Don falls in the lava and dies. So we're going to use this command right here, and now this whole thing is lava. And just in case Don makes it to the other side, we are going to place a giant wall right here so he can't escape. So let's just use this command, and now we have our fake entrance. This is going to be so good, there's no way he doesn't fall for this. Now we're going to build the real entrance on the roof. So we're going to place ladders up here so that he can get up. And then we're going to make a big hole in the roof right here. So now at the bottom of this hole, we are going to make another big hole right here. And we are going to place fake lava inside of this hole. Now what fake lava does is basically it gives you fire resistance when you go inside of it. So when Don goes into this lava, he won't actually take any damage, but he'll think that it's a trap. So let's put all this fake lava in this hole. This is going to be so good. Don is going to have no idea that this is actually just fake lava and he can just fall in. Now we'll build a wall here to separate this room from the next room. And in this room, I think we're going to put a bunch of mobs so that Don has to fight off all of the mobs. So we're going to put some dispensers in the ground here so that Don at least has some gear to fight the mobs. And we're going to give him an iron sword, an iron chest plate, iron pants, and iron boots. And now we're going to put pressure plates over this so when Don walks on these pressure plates, he'll get all the gear just like that. Alright, now we're going to build another wall on the other side. And now we are going to put a keypad door on this side, so Don has to find the keypad door code to get through. So let's hide the keypad door code somewhere he'll never find it. And we're going to make the code 0000 because that's the most obvious code, and Don will have no idea because it's so obvious. Now we're just going to spawn a bunch of zombies in here. Maybe that's too many, I don't know. Nah, let's spawn a few more. Alright, now let's just put our code in the keypad door. And now as you can see, if we type our code in, the door will let us through. Alright, next we're going to make a giant lava pit because we're going to add some parkour. Now let's just fill the sides of this lava pit so it's not dirt because as you know, dirt is the worst block. And now our lava pit looks much better. We just need to add lava to this. So I'm going to go in the middle and I'm going to use this command to fill the whole thing with lava. And now we have a giant lava pit and now we'll build some parkour over this lava pit and Don will have to make it to the other side. Now let's not make this parkour too hard. Just kidding, I'm going to make it as hard as possible. Alright, so we'll put our first jump right here, and as you can see, this is an easy jump. I mean, there's no way I'm not making this. And now we'll put our next jump right here, and this jump is a little bit harder. Don might have trouble with this one. But now we are going to add a ladder jump, and there's no way Don is getting through this one first try. And then we'll put another ladder jump right here, and then we'll go back to diamond blocks, and we'll put a jump right here, and now we'll put another jump right here, and for the final jump, we'll make it this super easy jump. And then I'm going to put barrier blocks in front of it so that when he tries to make the jump, this just happens. And the actual jump is just going to the side like this. But he's going to have no idea because this looks like it's the actual jump. This is going to be so funny. Alright, and now we'll test our parkour to see if it works. So we'll go here and here. And then we'll go here. And these ones are kind of hard. Alright, and we'll go here and here. And then we'll avoid the barrier block and go right here. And as you can see, our parkour works perfectly. Let's move on to the next part. For this part, we are going to put a bunch of landmines on the ground. And if you don't know what landmines are, basically if I walk over this block, it will explode. So if Don walks over any of the landmines we place, he will blow up and he'll have to start the tunnel over again. So let's place a bunch of landmines over here, and he'll have to walk through them without setting any of them off. 
and I think that's good enough. So now if Dawn steps on any of the landmines like this, he's going to completely explode. Next, we're going to build a big wall to separate the next room. So let's place all these blocks up here, and we'll make a nice little entrance for him right here, and we'll finish placing blocks like this, and now we're going to put a maze. And if you guys subscribe right now, I'll make sure this is the hardest maze ever. So let's just extend it out a little bit like this. And then we'll put a fake spot right here for him to walk into. Now let's keep going. And this will be the real way to get through the maze, going through here. But then we'll put two separate ways right here. So he has to choose which way that he goes. Now next, we're going to keep building this side out. And then we're going to build a wall here. And then we'll put another fake spot right here. And we'll make it as long as possible. So he has to go all the way back from over here. Now I think we'll put the real exit right here. And then we'll just put a fake spot right here. Because maybe he won't even notice this is the real exit. And I think our maze is hard enough, so now we just have to build the walls all the way up to the top so that he can't see through the maze. And now, at one of the dead ends in the maze, I'm going to put this dispenser. And I'm going to put a button to activate this dispenser, and inside of this dispenser, I'm going to put a bunch of books, because Don hates books. Alright, now let's just finish our wall in front of the maze. And now we're going to build another wall right here, and we are going to leave three holes open because there's going to be three doors on this wall, and Don is going to have to choose which door he goes through, and two of them are going to have something really bad, and one of them will be the real entrance. Alright, so let's put all three of the doors right here. Now on this first door, what we're going to do is I'm going to put a bunch of fake water, and this water will actually damage Don when he goes into it. So he's going to think this is the actual tunnel, but the water is actually going to kill him. And because you'll think this is the actual tunnel, let's put some barriers at the end so it actually looks real. Now we'll do the middle tunnel, and this will be the real tunnel. And we're going to put a bunch of TNT on the ground just to scare him into thinking that this is the fake tunnel. And now in the last tunnel, we are going to put a dispenser. And inside of this dispenser, there's literally going to be nothing, but Don is going to think that this dispenser is the real entrance, because the real entrance with the TNT looks like it's fake. Now let's just build the wall on the other side, and I think we're done with that. For the next one, we are going to do a little bit of a prank on Don. So we're going to cut this whole thing out, and then of course we have to change the walls from dirt. And next we're going to fill this hole with lava. And right now, Don would not be able to get past this, because if he tried, he would just jump into lava and die. But what we're gonna do is we're going to place barriers all along this thing, so that Don can literally just run through, and he'll have no idea. So let's just keep placing barriers like this, and we're almost done placing barriers now. Alright, and now you can literally just walk over this lava, but Don is going to see the lava, and he's going to think that that if he walks forward, he's going to die in the lava, so he's going to be so confused. Alright, now I'm going to build a giant house out of diamonds, and inside of this house somewhere, I'm going to hide the exit to the tunnel. So let's just place a wall like this, and we'll place a few more walls on the other sides. Now this house doesn't look that good, but it's made out of diamond blocks, and obviously diamonds are the best block in Minecraft, so I mean that makes up for the house being bad. So now we'll just put a roof on the house, and we'll make it pointy a little bit, and we'll put one more spot at the top, and that looks like a pretty good house. Let's just extend the roof out a bit more, and now we'll have to hide a lever in here somewhere that will be the escape to the tunnel. So let's just get our lever, and let's literally spam these everywhere, so he has to try all of these levers. And inside of the house, I think we'll put some house stuff, like we'll put a bed right here, we'll put a crafting table, we'll put a couple furnaces, and we'll even put some bookshelves, because I'm sure Don will love those. And then we'll put a few more hidden levers inside of the house, and we'll even put one under the bed, and actually we'll add a few more fake levers underneath these blocks, and we'll even put a few under the bookshelves, because I'm sure Don will break the bookshelves. But none of these levers are actually the real lever. Now we're going to hide the actual lever on the roof right here. He will never find this lever. And now we have to build a big wall here so he can't just walk out of the tunnel. Alright, let's keep placing these blocks. And we'll add a few more right here so we have room for a door. And now we'll add our iron door at the other side. So right now there's no way to get through this. So we have to add some redstone and connect it to our lever up here so that Don can actually open the door and escape the tunnel. So let's place some redstone right here, and we'll make the redstone go up like this, and we'll keep placing redstone until we get to the top of the tunnel. And now we're at the top of the tunnel, and we have to find where the lever is inside of the tunnel. So I'm going to go back in the tunnel, and I'm just going to break a block like this, so we know where the lever is now. So now let's connect this redstone to where the lever is, and now when I pull this lever, it should set off the redstone. And as you can see, the redstone is set off, but the redstone doesn't actually work yet, so we have to add some repeaters. So we'll just put a repeater here, and as you can see, the door is now open when we press the lever. So if I press the lever like this, the door closes, and I press the lever again, the door opens. So now we just have to hide our redstone 
zone a little bit. And now we'll put a final room so we can put a reward for if Dawn finishes the maze. So we'll just use this command to place our wall right here, and we'll put a double chest right here. And inside of this double chest, we are going to put a bunch of purple wool, because this is not the actual real double chest. Dawn is going to be so mad when he sees this. But we're going to put the real double chest underneath this one. And inside of this one, we are going to put a bunch of lime wool and a bunch of frog spawn eggs because frogs are Dawn's favorite animal. And now we'll just put a little sign right here telling Dawn congratulations on finishing the maze and we'll say your prize is in the double chest in the other one. So now he's going to check this double chest and he'll see all this purple wool and he'll be so mad not knowing the real double chest is under here. Alright, now let's go on Dawn's side and check out how he's doing. Alright, Dawn, are you finished? Yep, all finished. Alright, I'm gonna check out your side in three, two, one. Wait, what is this? This is Dawn's super tunnel. Are you sure? This thing looks really bad. You made the whole thing out of dirt. What do you mean? Dirt's the best block. Just wait till you see the inside. This tunnel's gonna be super, super hard. Alright, whatever, Dawn. Show me your tunnel. Alright, first you have to get past the impossible lava pit. Are you serious, Don? You're saying this is impossible, but I literally just saw you walk through it first try. Like, come on. I can literally just do this. Wait. Like, do you really think that's hard? What? <laughs> all right, all right. This next one will get you for sure. All right, Don, do you seriously think these cobwebs are going to stop me? Like, who do you think I am? Okay, Eider, you have to choose one of these buttons. Make sure you don't choose the wrong one. All right, so this one says press for special door. I wonder what a special door is. But this one says press faux diamond? Don, who is Diamond? Diamond? You mean Damien, my friend? Okay, whatever. So I either get Damien or a special door. I think I'm gonna press Damien. Wait, this isn't Damien, this is Diamonds, Don. Ew, Diamonds? I hate Diamonds. I mean, I'll take more of these. Okay, so I guess we have to press for special door. Don, this just hurt me. Are you serious? Haha, uh -huh. alright. There is no door. Come up here. Okay, Eider, there's no way you'll be able to pass Don's super ultra dropper. Oh no, Don, I think this looks kind of hard. I don't know if I can... Like, are you serious? This is so what? easy, Don. <laughs> no way you just did that first try. It took me 11 tries. Okay, Eider, only one of these is the right path. Make sure you choose the right one. Okay, well this one looks like... I don't know, this one might be the right one. I mean, there's iron bars right here and there's a door on the other side. Hmm... Let's go across and see. Okay, make sure we don't fall in the lava. Oh, come on. Seriously, there's just dirt here. Haha. <laughs> I don't know how you were able to run across the balance beam like that. Wait, you think this is hard? Yeah, this is so hard. Okay, so let's try the middle door. And there's just a bunch of cobwebs over here. Do I seriously have to go through all these cobwebs, Don? Oh my god, Don, there's nothing on this side again. Are you serious? Uh, <laughs> I guess that only leaves you with one choice then. Alright, so I guess it has to be this door. And there's parkour on the other side. Are you serious? Now, be careful. This is Don's ultra parkour. Really? This parkour is so easy, Don. What do you mean? There's not even any three block jumps on here. Wow, I did that first try. You seriously thought that was going to stop me? Yeah, but look, there is a three block jump. No, you can go to that one on the other side, Don. Oh, I didn't even see that. Okay, this is Don's gladiator arena. No way you make it past my guards. So I guess I have to take whatever's in this chest, right? Ooh, a diamond sword. I love diamond swords. Ew. All right, just go fight them already. Oh my god, Don, this one's already attacking me. What did you put in here? Oh, there's a pillager. Oh my god. Watch out. Wait, they're actually killing me, Don. Oh my god. Wait, they're actually doing so much damage. No way you get past my endermites. Don, these are so easy. They can't even hit me. The only thing you that was mean? hard there was the pillager. Don, look, look at how this. scary not these guys are. Me. They're even named Big Scare. Naming them doesn't make them scary. Oh my god, Don. This is so easy. I was on three hearts and I didn't die. That was oh, so wow. easy, Don. That's insane. Good stuff. All right, get ready for the final challenge. You're going to have to get across all this lava and all these cobwebs. Wait. Don, there's glass here. This is easy. What, what do you mean? No way you figured that out. Alright, congrats for finishing the maze. Take a look at your prize. Okay, what is in this chest? A music disc, dirt path, and and coarse dirt? Yeah, everyone's favorite block. Dirt. You can have your dirt back. Awesome, I love coarse dirt. Alright, Don, my tunnel is way harder than that. You should come to my side. Alright, I'll go check it out, but no way it's harder than mine. 
All right, Don, check out my tunnel. Oh, diamond blocks? Why do you use those? Because diamond blocks are the best block in the game. What do you mean? I'd much rather coarse dirt. All right, Don, so you have to find the entrance to the tunnel, and I think that shouldn't be too hard for you to do. Okay, Eider, let's see. All right, so... Ooh, I like this green banner. It's probably through here, right? Oh my god! Oh my god, Don, there's no Dude, way you no. fell for that. There's no way you fell for that, Don. You actually thought that I would put the entrance behind green? This disgusting I color? I had to check it out. It's my absolute favorite color. All right, I'm gonna find the real entrance. All right, Don, I'll give you a hint. Okay. Think up. Up? All right. Maybe there's a way I can get on top, but this looks so long. I don't want to run all the way down there. Let me check this side. <gasps> I think I found it. Climbing the ladder. Climbing the ladder. <gasps> all right, this Don, has to be it. This is definitely the real entrance. But Eider, how am I supposed to get down there? There's so much lava. All right, I'm going to try and make it to that side. Oh, Don, it's fake lava. Look at this. Fake you can lava? swim in it forever. Oh my god, I have regeneration. Okay, Don, for this next part, you have to go into this super scary room and find the password hidden somewhere in this room to open the door. Oh my god, that sounds so scary. Alright, I'm gonna try my best. Alright, Don, good luck. Alright, I'll try my best. Oh my god, there's so many zombies. Oh, Don't oh die, Don. I'm actually gonna die. No way I kill all these zombies. No, Don, Help. you have to find the passcode, Don. Eider, how am I supposed to kill all those zombies? They're just zombies, Don. Alright, Don, since you died, I'll remove some of the zombies for you, just so it's a little bit easier. Thank you, Eider. Okay, now there's not as many zombies. I think you should have a better chance. Alright, I'll try again. I got this. Go, go, go! Kill zombie! Ah, Come on, Don. Ah! Ah! Oh my god, I'm still dying! Oh my god, Don, you're taking a lot of damage. I'm gonna die! Oh my god! Alright, Don, only a few more zombies to go. You can do it. Easy. You thought that would stop me? No way. Alright, Don, the door is right here. Uh, there's a passcode. How am I supposed to get out? Uh, the passcode is somewhere in this room. In this room? All I found in this room was some rotten flesh. Alright, let me look at this passcode. I don't see anything over here. I don't like it gets up. Wait, I see a sign all the way up there. I think that says, like, zero, zero, zero. Let me break it so I can get a closer look. Oh my god, Don, that's not how signs work. Wait, what happened to the passcode? The password definitely is an A. Maybe you should try what you had before. Alright, I think it was, uh, zero, 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 zero. <gasps> Yo! Okay, Don, this next part is a really hard parkour, and you have to make it all the way to the other side without falling. Eider, do you really think I can do this? No way! I mean, way. I, can, I can do it easily first try, watch this! Well, that's cool and all, Eider, but you're in creative mode, so you're just cheating. Okay, whatever, Don, let me see you try it. Alright. Wait! Oh my god, Don, you died Wait. already? Alright, Don, it's time to try again. Alright, this time, I got it, Eider. Okay, jump. Alright, one more. Okay. I got this. To the ladder? Okay, this looks kind of hard. One more ladder? I made it? Alright, I got this. Alright. Oh, I made it? Ooh, that was scary. Alright, I got this. Just one more jump. Okay, this is the last jump, Don. This jump is so easy. There's no way you can mess this one up. Alright, I got this. Wait, what? How did I miss a two-block jump? Oh my god, Don. There's no way you fell for that. There's a barrier right there and it blocked you. Oh. How was I supposed to know that, Eider? Alright, Don, so this is the real jump. You have to go right here. Okay, I think I got this. This doesn't look too hard. Alright, and last jump! I made it! Alright, Don, be careful. Don't touch any of these landmines. Alright, I'll be super, super careful. Don, how did you even touch the landmine? It was literally so easy. You didn't even have to jump or anything. Alright, Don, next you have to make it through this maze. And there may or may not be something in here waiting for you. A surprise. Surprise? Or something scary? I don't know if I trust you. It's a surprise. <laughs> Alright. Okay, not that way. Alright, let me try here. This is super, super dark and creepy. Wait, what is this? Spencer? There's a surprise in there waiting for you. 
Okay, Eider, I'm gonna trust you. Books? <laughs> you know I hate books. I don't even know how to read. You take the ugly book. I don't want that. Alright, I still can't figure out how to get out of here. No, Don, you're going the wrong way. You just came from there. Are you serious? Man, this is too hard for me. Alright, last try. <gasps> I got it. No way, Don, you actually made it through. Okay, for this part, there's three doors, and you have to choose the right one. Two of them have something bad behind it, and one of them goes to the next part of the tunnel. Alright, seems kind of hard. I have to choose the right one. Alright, okay, I see some levers down here. I'm gonna choose this one. Wait, I'm taking- How am I taking damage to the water? What did you- I can't even get out! That's no! fake water, Don. I can't believe you fell for the fake water. Alright, Don, there's two more doors, and one of them is the right one. Which one are you going to pick? This one looks like it has some TNT, so that's probably pretty bad. I'm gonna pick this one. Okay, Don. Alright. No way, I'm stuck? Wait, there's a button here. What does this do? I don't know. Try it. Okay. Wait. It doesn't do anything. Maybe you should try it again. Again. Eider! Eider! You trapped me! Okay, I'm just kidding. The button does nothing. I'll let you out, Don. Alright, and that means there's only one more door left for you to pick. Wait, this is the one with TNT. No way it's this one. I don't know, Don. You have to find out. Alright, it better be this one. You better not be lying. I see, made it! It was fine. Okay, I trusted you. Alright, so you see this house over here? You have to make it across this lava and get to the house. Alright. How am I supposed to do that, though? This is massive lava pit. I don't know. I think maybe you can make this jump. All right, let's see. This is like one, two, three, five, seven, seven. Yeah. All right. I got this, you know? I've been working out. All right. I'll get a running start. Easy. Look at that. I bet you can't do seven block jumps. Don, you didn't actually make the jump. These are barrier blocks. You can just stand on it. What? So I didn't have to... I just tried so hard for that jump, all for nothing. Alright, what's this house? So this house is the best house in Minecraft. It's a diamond house. Way better Ew. than dirt. And you have to find which lever is the right lever to open the door over there. Wait, but there's so many levers, Eider. What am I supposed to do? You expect me to try all of them? I don't know. Find the right lever. Alright, let's try all these ones over here. Doesn't seem like it's these. Oh my god, there's so many, even in the back, and on this side as well. Alright, Don, I'll give you a hint. It's hidden. Hidden. Alright, so it must be in that- <gasps> I'm not going in there. Why? You have bookshelves. That's even worse than diamonds. But what if it's hidden in the books, Don? Alright, I guess I'm just gonna have to confront my biggest fear just to finish this maze to show you it's not as good as mine. Books are not scary. Books are not scary. Ah, ah, ah. You take, take these, take these, take these. Okay, books are not scary. Wait, I see some levers. It, it's not, not this one? All right, books are not scary. Books are not scary. Wait, it has to be this one. Was it that one? No? Oh my god. All right, it has to be this one. All right, Don, let's see. No way, you said it was hidden behind the books. I said it might be hidden behind the books. Wait a minute. Hider, did you put it under the bed? I don't know, did I? Let's see. No way. Alright, last place it could be. Under the crafting table. This has to be it. Alright, Don, let's try it. No way. Where is it? Remember where the hidden entrance was at the beginning of the tunnel? <gasps> oh my god, it was on the roof. But how am I supposed to get up there? Alright, let's see if there's something on the back side. Oh my god, it's up on the roof. That has to be it. Alright, I'm gonna jump super, super high to get this. Alright, Don, you're a frog, so I know you can jump. You can do it. I got this. Uh, let's go! Oh my god, Don, you made it through. Let's go! Wait, for all these big words, you gotta help me. Okay, Don, it says congratulations on finishing the maze. Your prize is in the double chest. Yo, my prize? Alright, this will prove how good of a friend you really are. Ew, that's not what I wanted. What do it's you mean? purple. What do you mean? Purple's the best color. Ew, purple's the worst color. Look at your shirt. It's like that. Okay, Don, that was the fake prize. The real prize is actually hidden under that double chest. 
<gasps> oh my god! Green wool? And something I think might be even better than coarse dirt. Frogs! Alright, Don, I hate frogs. I'm getting out of here. Today, we are going to be building the best underground security tunnel. Oh my god, I love security tunnels. Me too, Don, and we only have 10 minutes to build it. Which side do you want to pick? The incredible purple side or the poopy green side? Of course I'm going to pick the green side. I love green. Alright, and I'm going to get the purple side because purple is a way better color. Alright, Don, you're definitely gonna lose. Alright, now let's build the underground tunnel. So let's set a position with our wand, and we'll go all the way over here. Now let's dig down right here, and we'll use this command to make a huge area for our first room. Now, of course, we need to change these blocks, though, because I hate dirt. Dirt sucks. So let's click here, and we'll go over to the other side. And now, using this command, we'll make the whole floor diamond blocks. Much better. So we'll just do this on every wall as well. And that's the second wall. That's the third wall. And that's the final wall. Okay, now this this place is looking so much better, but we still need a roof because this is an underground tunnel. Okay, and now our first room is pretty much complete, so it's time we add an entrance. What I'm going to do is break these three blocks right here to make an entrance to the underground tunnel. But the thing is, this is going to be a fake entrance to trick Dawn and keep him away from the real entrance. So what we're going to do is break all these blocks right here. Let's keep breaking, and that looks good. Obviously, we have to get rid of this dirt though, and of course we'll change the dirt to diamond blocks because they are so much better. Now we're we're going to have to trap Dawn because this is the fake entrance so I'm going to place fake water all over this hole like this and now when Dawn enters through the middle here he's going to fall straight into the fake water like this and it's going to do so much damage to him but obviously this water is kind of easy to escape so we need to have a way to keep him in as well so I'm going to place these barrier blocks all around the water pool to make sure Dawn gets stuck in the water and now our fake entrance is pretty much complete all we really have to do is place some green carpets around it because Dawn loves green so this this will make sure he chooses this entrance first. Alright, now it's time to build the real entrance to the tunnel, and I think I'm gonna put it here. So first we are going to need to build a ladder that goes all the way down to make sure Dawn doesn't die of fall damage. And since this is the real entrance, I'm gonna place purple carpets all around the entrance so that Dawn definitely doesn't check this area, since he hates purple. And now that we are inside of the tunnel, we need to make this thing look more like a tunnel, cause right now it's a room. So let's build another wall right here, and we'll set it like this, and now let's build another wall like this on the other side. And the only way to get out of this room is going to be through this keypad door, so Don is going to have to find the code. And I think I'm going to make the code 0001, because that is one more than the code I made last time, so there's no way he will guess it. And as you can see, if we enter the code, we are able to get through the door like this, so now let's find a place to hide the code. A good place to hide the code is up near the entrance, because there's no way he would look here. Like, look how hidden that sign is. There's no way he will see that when he goes down the ladder. And now I think we should be able to build a little area right here, and we'll also put a wall on it because we need Dawn to walk this way first before entering the room. The reason we want that is so that we can give him some gear for what is about to be in the room next. So let's place some dispensers on the ground and we'll get him a set of iron- wait no, I think we should give him something even cooler. Lapis armor, that sounds really cool. Let's give him some of that and we'll also give him a diamond hand axe. And now let's place all these items inside of different dispensers and then we'll put a pressure plate on top so Dawn can actually get the gear. And now as you can see when I walk over these pressure plates it equips all the gear just like this. Okay, I'm not really sure why the pants didn't work, but we'll ignore that. It's good enough. And the reason I'm going to give all this gear to Dawn is because of all these skeletons that I'm spawning to guard the door from Dawn. Now Dawn will not only have to find the code, but he has to get through all the skeletons if he wants to escape. This is going to be so hard, but I don't think that's going to be hard enough. So let's make another room like this. And what we're going to do is change the floor to lava so we can make a parkour that Dawn has to complete to get through. So let's put a jump like this, another jump like this, and we'll also put a jump here, and I think we'll put a three block jump near the end, because Dawn is really going to have trouble on that. And let's put the final jump right here, and now we have a sick lava parkour for Dawn to complete to get to the next room. And for the next room, I think we are going to go down, so let's just dig down here, and we'll dig a ton of this area out, so we can make a big room. And now let's just use this command to remove all this stuff. Oh wait, there's lava, I think we have to try that again. And yeah, that is the perfect size for this next room. So obviously we're just gonna remove all this dirt, because dirt sucks. And 
let's also remove the dirt on the walls. And finally, we'll replace the floor with diamond blocks as well. Oh, and let's also remove these lava particles. I don't really want those up there. And finally, let's place some water on the ground here so Dawn doesn't die of fall damage when coming down. Okay, now we obviously need some kind of trap for this room or this wouldn't be a security tunnel. So the next trap we are going to make involves mines. Basically, if Dawn steps on one of these, it's going to be really bad. So he's definitely gonna have to be careful. And we're just gonna build a huge pathway like this all the way to the end of the room out of these mines. And now Dawn is going to have to be really careful he doesn't stand on one of these or else he's going to have to go through the whole tunnel again. So let's make another door right here at the end. And I think we'll just use a wooden door because Dawn has been through a lot at this point. And let's just dig all the way out here and we'll keep going. And now let's go up a bit and let's use the cut command again to get rid of this. And I think that's a good size for our next room. Obviously, we just need to add the diamond blocks. And for the floor, we are going to do something a little different this time. First, let's turn this whole layer into lava like this. And we're going to turn the top layer into some glass blocks like this. Oh, and let's also get rid of the dirt on the side because I hate dirt. And now when Don walks in this room, he's probably going to think he'll fall through the lava because the glass is kind of hard to see. But that's not the trap we are going to make. Instead, we are going to make an invisible maze. So we'll just start placing a bunch of barriers like this. And we'll keep placing the barriers until we have a giant maze. And I think we'll build the pathway to the exit first just to make sure our maze actually works. Let's keep placing these blocks. Oh my god, this maze is going to be so long. There's no way Dawn is getting through this. I can't believe I'm still placing these blocks. Honestly, I might have made this maze a little bit too long. Okay, I think we're almost done now. And yeah, we'll make this the exit and we'll mark it with this diamond block for now like this. All right, now we have to fill in the rest of the maze and we're going to make a few fake exits on the way just to trick Dawn. The first thing we are going to do is place a dispenser and a button like this. And what we are going to do is fill it with books because Dawn hates books. When Dawn sees this dispenser, he's definitely going to want to press it. And when he does, he will see a book, which is going to be so funny. And now I think we should make another fake exit before we finish building this maze. I think right here, we are going to place a ton of green carpets like this. And let's just place a sign that says, congrats, you lost. So when Dawn sees the sign, he thinks it's the end and gets trolled. Now Dawn is for sure going to fall for this one. I mean, the second he sees green carpets, it's guaranteed he goes towards them. All right, now let's just turn this part of the glass into diamond blocks. And let's start to work on our next trap, which is going to be two fake exits and one real exit. Basically, there's going to be three different holes like this, and two of them will be bad, and one of them will be good. So let's just dig straight down here, and obviously we'll keep replacing the dirt with some diamond blocks to make it look better. And for the first trap, I'm going to place some powdered snow down here like this, so now when Dawn sees the snow, it won't look that dangerous. But if he drops down in here, he will freeze to death. And we'll place some green carpets here to make him want to pick it even more. And now let's dig straight down in the middle hole, and for this one, we are going to place a dispenser and a button like this, which would usually lead to something good. The only difference is this one is going to have lava in it, so when Dawn presses the button, lava is going to spawn like this. This will be so funny. And of course, we are going to surround it with green frog lights because Dawn likes green and frogs, so he will obviously pick this one. And now the final hole is going to be the right entrance, but we're going to make it look like the wrong one by placing fake lava at the bottom. And since it is fake lava, it just gives you fire resistance and regeneration when you go inside it. But Dawn is going to think it's real lava, and he won't go down. And finally, let's place some purple carpets here, so Dawn is for sure not picking this one, because Dawn hates purple. And now that we have a real entrance, it's time to dig out another huge area like this. And let's just keep digging. I think that's almost enough, but this room needs to be kind of long. And let's just cut all this like this, and we'll obviously fill all the walls in with diamond blocks, you already know that. And for the first part of this room, we are going to set the whole floor to lava like this. And what we are going to do is use barrier blocks to make an invisible parkour over this lava pool. So let's put a jump here like this. And wait, I think this jump might be a little too far for Dawn to make, so let's make it shorter. And then we'll put another jump right here like this. And after Dawn finishes the invisible parkour, we will reward him by making a bridge out of some green glass. But obviously you don't have to cross the full bridge to make it to the other side. So just to make sure that Dawn is actually paying attention, let's place some barriers here so if Dawn tries to jump from right here, he will fall straight into the lava like this. And now let's just make sure the parkour works like this. Okay, so far it looks good. And yeah, it's good. It's just the right difficulty for Dawn as well. Alright, now it's time to build the final room. But first, let's place a keypad door to enter the room like this, and we'll make it the same code from the beginning to see if Dawn can remember it. And now that we have our door, let's dig another huge area out. Okay, why is everything invisible? Let's just keep digging. We want this room to be kind of long. And now let's just cut the area again. And of course, we are going to change everything to diamonds because we hate dirt. And now what we are going to do is replace the bottom of the tunnel with grass because we haven't had much nature in here yet. So let's just bone meal everything in here to give the grass some more detail. And we'll just place a tree in the middle. And let's also place another tree on the side. Basically, what I'm going to tell Dawn when he gets to this room is that he needs to find a hidden button. So let's put some fake spots for the button first. First, let's place a ladder 
on the back side of this tree because that is for sure going to trick him because it makes no sense. And let's also put a hole right here which could maybe have a button. And finally let's just break a little spot right here to trick him again. The thing that Dawn doesn't know though is that there's going to be a pressure plate right here to open the door while he's looking for a button. So the whole time Dawn is going to be looking for something that doesn't exist when the exit is right here. Okay now finally what we need to do is make an exit for this tunnel. So let's just dig all the way up to the surface and we're going to make a big hole like this and let's just make all of this diamond blocks except for the top layer because we want this thing to be hidden still. And now we're going to place some ladders like this and we're going to make the ladder a little bit wavy with some parkour here and there because I know Don hates ladder parkour. So let's keep building the ladder up some more and that should be good at the top. And now what we'll do is just fill the whole top with grass so Don can't find this in the beginning. And finally we'll use this thing called a ghost block to completely hide this area from Don. And now we can go through this grass block to the bottom but Don will never find this. It's way too hidden. Now finally let's add a reward for if Don can finish this. So let's place a chest right here and we'll also place a chest on the top. You'll see why in a second. And the top chest will be Don's fake prize. So let's fill this thing up with books and purple wool because Don hates those things. And let's fill the bottom chest with his real prize. Let's put some green wool, green frog lights, and some frog eggs. Oh and we'll also give Don some of the slime armor because it's green so Don will probably like it. And now let's just add some signs which say congratulations on escaping the security tunnel. And get your prize below. Just so he knows the chests have prizes in them just to make sure. And yeah I'm pretty sure we are done our tunnels so now let's go on Don's side and check out how he's doing. Don are you finished? I'm all done Eider. Okay I'm going to check your side in three, two, one. Look at my amazing build. Wait what Do is like this it? Don? This is Don's ultralicious tunnel of doom. I don't know if that's true it looks like it's made out of dirt. It might be made out of dirt but there's no way you're making it through alive. Also Don what's that behind you? Yeah, that's nothing. You don't see anything. Okay. All right, let's check this tunnel out, Dom. Careful. Below is Dom? Who is Dom? Doom, Eider. It's the tunnel of doom. Oh, that says Dom, Don. Who's Dom? That's what I said. Okay, whatever. I'm going uh, down. Meow, enter the password. Hmm. Don, do you see what's wrong here? No, you gotta find the password. Otherwise, you won't be able to make it into the tunnel. Okay. But wait, this is just a wooden door, Don. I can just go through. Look. Wait, what? You don't need a password. How do you get through? Oh my god. God, I didn't hook it up to the door properly. All right, there's no way you'll make it past this room. All right, Eider, you have to pick your favorite bush to make it past this room. Okay, Don. Hmm. Let's check out this one. Oh, this one has lava. That doesn't look good. What about this one? See, this one has water. That looks really good, Don. And it also has purple, which makes it even better. So I think that's probably the right one. But let's just check this one just in case. Oh, and it's lava again, Don. I think it's an obvious choice. I think I'm gonna go with the middle one, because there's water. All right, if you say so. Okay, this one was right. I was right. Yeah, of course you were. I mean, it purple just for you. All right, now stuff's getting real. You gotta pick your weapon. Pick one. You will need it for battle. What kind of battle? Okay, what is ninja? Whoa, glass armor. That's so cool. What about pokey poke? Chain armor and a netherite dagger. That's not as good. That's not as cool as glass armor. Mystery item. What does that mean? It's the mystery item. Open okay, it and find okay, out. Okay, whatever. I'll just check. Whoa, wait. It's a bunch of random stuff and a lucky sword. I'm definitely gonna take this, Don. Yeah, that's what I would have chose too. Watch me equip this armor. Whoa, you look so cool, Eider. Oh my god. Don, what is this door? It's the door to the next room. Okay, if you say so, it's in kind of a weird position here. It's just a small door in case you wanted to bring the cat with you. What cat? Zero, 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 zero in the first room. Okay, whatever. I don't have time for that. Let's just open the door and go to the next room. All right, this is Don's super ultra parkour. I can make a pass in one second. I don't think you can though. Good luck. See, I don't think I can do that, Don, but I can do this. What? First try? No way. Yeah, it's right. just easy. I don't know how you can do parkour like that, but what I do know is you won't pick the proper animal. Hmm, pick your favorite. Duck? That's obviously my favorite. Let's see. Lava? I'm not going down there, Don. Are you sure, though? Check the other ones. Seal. I wouldn't even pick seal anyway, but let's see. Lava again? I love seals. And frog? Frog is the worst animal out of them all. What? I love frogs. Oh my god. And there's a glass pane here, so I can just fall down. So this is the right one. Wow, Don. <laughs> oh my god, Eider. Your favorite animal is frogs? I didn't know. Me too. That's, that's just not true, Don. Well, I think you just secretly admitted to it by choosing the frog hole, but it's okay. Okay, whatever. Let's just move on. All right. This is Don's super ultra maze. You have to figure 
figure out what lever gets you out. Whoa, there's so many levers in here, Don. But I'm guessing it's just this button, because why is there a button here? What? Why, why would you guess that? See, I was right. But Don, it seems you placed the button a little far away. X, yeah, you gotta run. Wow. You do it now, Don. Watch this. See, it's First way too far away. Here, I got a button for you right here. Thank you. I'm a little noob sometimes. All right, Eider. Next is Dawn's Arena of Doom. There's some absolutely terrifying mobs waiting to fight you down there. Good luck. Okay, I'm kind of scared. Maybe there's a warden down here. I don't want that to happen, but I'm just going to drop down. Oh, and it's just zombies, except for this baby one. That's kind of scary. But now the baby's gone, and it's literally just zombies. Dawn, this is so easy. Look, they can't Aren't even they get so close to me. Scary? Dawn, this is so easy. The Ooga Booga zombies don't scare you either? I'd be Whoa. terrified right now. Wait, what just happened with my sword? Did you see that, Dawn? You just started breathing fire. Are you a dragon? Either? This was definitely the right sword. Oh my god, now there's eggs. Oh my god, how are you spawning chickens? I have no idea, Dawn. And that's all the zombies. Dawn, that was so easy. Look, I even got some food. You probably like rotten flesh, don't you? Ew, I like worms. Okay, you might have been able to defeat the mobs in Dawn's Arena of Doom, but now you're trapped. How will you escape? 12 doors. Only one's the right option. Well, there's a bunch of doors around here, so let's just look for which door is the right one. Wait, and what is this? It looks like the panda has a number on top of it. Yeah, it's just my pet. I named him 12. Hmm. So I guess we're gonna have to check out door number 12. And where are these doors in the wrong order? This should be number one, Dawn. Huh? This should be number one, and that should be 12. I don't know what you're talking about, Eider. This is definitely door 12. Okay, let's check out the door. Don, it looks like there's just lava down here. I don't think 12 is the right door. I don't know what you're talking about. I only heard 12 munching on some bamboo. Wait a minute. What is that in the roof? That? Just dirt. Is this a T? Wait, no. This is a 1. Are you sure it's not a T for T-Rex? Does that mean the right door is 1? Let's find out. All right, this is door number one. Ooh, there's a lava here, but it looks like you can jump over it. Okay, Don, this jump looks a little far. I don't know if I can make this. You just must not have strong legs. You just watch me make it. No, but you flew, Don. Yeah, that's just the Don jump. Okay, there's a sign. It says it's fake. Wait, hold on. Oh my uh, god, Don, you almost tricked no me. No way you saw that sign. All right, if you can make it up the staircase, you'll earn your prize. Okay, prize is soon, okay? You can see it. I can't see it. Let me duck. Oh. Get it? It's duck. It's purple? Oh my god, I need to get up here fast. I love dirt. No, I don't. I do. I accidentally ate worm while building super tunnel. Really, Don? Yeah. I tried. I ate worms. Four of them, they weren't that bad. Okay, this is just getting weird. Congrats. You did it. Woo ha ha. Say that for me. Congrats, Ida. You did it. Woo ha ha. Okay, okay. Ooh, and there's a purple chair here. That's so cool, Don. Look at yeah. me. I'm sitting in a purple chair. No, you can't sit chillin'? here. You have what? green on you. And we got a purple trampoline. Oh my god. This this bounce, prize is bounce, so good bounce. already. But we haven't checked what's in the chest yet. A netherite hoe? Purple wool? Carved pumpkin. I don't know about that. And bedrock? What's bedrock? That's super dirt. No, this is bedrock. Super dirt. Here, try to break it. Noob. What? Okay, whatever. You just aren't the dirt king. And there's a duck statue by Dawn. I'm pretty sure I knew that already. Well, you don't know. I could have hired some builders to build it for you. Okay, Dawn, that was a great prize, but that wasn't that great of a tunnel, let's be honest. I think my tunnel was an absolute 10 out of 10. Dawn's ultralicious tunnel of Dom is just amazing. Okay, Don, now it's time to show you my tunnel. My tunnel will be way better. There's no way you're gonna make it to the end. All right, Eider, I don't know who you think you are having a better tunnel than Don, but I'll go check it out. Okay, Don, it's time to try out my diamond tunnel, which is way better than your dirt tunnel. I love dirt, Eider. I don't know. These diamonds, they hurt my feet. All right, I'm ready to go. Okay, Don, you have to find the entrance. <laughs> You made it green just for me? That's so nice, Eider. Your tunnel's gonna be easy. You're too nice. Don, I wouldn't go down there what? if I were you. What? I'm trapped! How do I- Don, Help! that's fake water. Fake water? You should never trust the green entrance. Obviously, green is the worst color, so why would green be the right entrance? What? I love green. I'll pick green every time. Oh, I see what you did. You made a tiny little purple entrance because- Purple's the noob color, so it deserves a small entrance. That's just not true. Purple's the best color, so it deserves the real entrance, Dawn. Okay, Dawn, welcome to the first room. You're going to have to get past the scary mobs and find the code to the door to get to the next room. 
scary mobs on the first room, Eider. This tunnel's gonna be so difficult. All right, I'm ready. But Don, don't worry, because you can get some gear from these pressure plates right here. Oh, thank God. I thought I was gonna have to punch them with my fist. All right, Don is ready. Ah! Oh my God, so many skeletons. Come on, Don, you got this. It's not that many. I look, got this. Look, they're even shooting each other. This is so easy for you. Absolutely easy, like a worm. I don't know what that means. All right, only three left. I got this piece of cake. Come on, Don. Easy. Good First job, Don. Down. All right, Don. Now you have to find the code to this door to get to the next room. Okay, watch this. I'll guess it. First try. Um, Don, I don't right. think you guessed it. I don't think I did either. All right, where's this code? This is like a white room. Don't put me in the psych ward, Eider. I think this is a blue room, actually. I'm colorblind. I'm sorry, Don. Maybe the thing is back here. I remember seeing a little something. <gasps> is this a sign? Maybe. Zero, zero, one. Huh. No, wait. Oh, actually, yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. All right, let me try it. Zero, zero, one. One, go. Oh what? my god, Don. You read the code wrong. I've read the code wrong? What does it say? There's another zero in there, Don. Zero, zero, one, zero? No, another zero with the other zeros. Zero, 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 one. No, that's four. Can you just put the code in for me? Okay, fine. Okay, Don, come on through. All right, I'm through. Now you have to make it across the scary parkour to the other side. Now, see, I might have strong legs because I'm a frog, but parkour, this is asking a lot of me, but I'll give it my best shot. Come on, Don, it's easy, look. What? And look, there's even <laughs> some dirt right here that I left in <gasps> to motivate you. Dirt. I love dirt. All right. You gave me confidence. I think I can do it. I don't know if I can do that shortcut at the end, though. All right. One, two. <sighs> Halfway. Three. All Almost right, there, Don. This is a three-block jump, though. You have to be careful. Okay. I got the lineups for it. Watch this. <gasps> Come on. One more jump, Don. See, let's go. I knew you could do it. Okay, follow Easy. me down here. Now, there's a bunch of mines, and you have to make it to this door over here without touching any of them. All right. I'll be very careful, Eider, because I don't want to touch any of these mines. They always get me. All right, I'm tiptoeing across. All right, got to make one last turn, and I think I'm good. And I'm good job. Oh, okay, I can't move. Yeah, you might notice that because now you're in an invisible maze, and you have to make it to the other side. Invisible maze? What? Oh, I see some green. Let me get over there. Yeah, go for the green, Dawn. Oh. I, how do I- where's the green? I'm it's just, stuck! It's just right here, look! How are you getting to the green? Let me in! You're so close! I'm here! Do I win? Read the sign, Don. Congrats. You lost. Lost? Like toast? Lost. You lost because you went for green, and green is the worst color, everyone knows that. Stop! You're breaking my green! Spare him, please! Alright, now it's on. I'm defeating this maze in record time. Okay, Don, you should probably go for this dispenser next. That looks really good. Alright, I'll go for the dispenser. There's probably something you'll really like in there. Alright, I hope it's a T-Rex. I've been reading about them, and I really want one. Alright, it better be a T-Rex, because I asked yeah, you for this for my birthday. It definitely is, Don. I don't Dawn. know if you remember. It's my birthday. No, it definitely is. A book? I hate reading! Alright. Take what that do you mean, Don? And sit in a corner it's and just finish a book. it while I finish this maze. Okay, fine. Whatever. Just finish the maze. I'll All get right, smarter, and you won't, because I read books and you don't. Well, you need to get do some reading. You need some catching up, because this maze, it's got nothing on Don's ultra-licious tunnel. All right, Don, you're so close to the exit. Uh, and you I made, made it, it, Don. Nice. Let's go. All right, Don. for the next challenge, you have to pick which one is the right drop down to the next room. All right. Well, I love green, and it looks like there's some snow, so I'm just gonna drop down, and maybe I can make a snow angel when I fall. Okay, Don, that sounds like a great idea. Oh, I'm stuck! Help! I can't- Yeah, Don, that's powdered snow, and now you're gonna freeze. Okay, I'll help you out of there, Don. <gasps> Thank you, Eider. I still have frostbite, and yeah, I need to go back. But don't fall for something my... like that again. Okay, I need to warm my toes first, though. Give me a second. Okay, I'll just break this block under you then. <gasps> oh! Okay, my, to my toes are warm. They're warm. All right. As much as I hate it, I hate it so much I'm going to take off all this purple armor. Wait, 
Don, that armor's blue, you realize. Blue? Okay, if we're being totally honest, your shirt's blue. I'm colorblind. I just say it's purple to make you happy. It is blue, Don. What? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, Don. It's purple. Don't just, mess with me like just that. Just like the blocks you're standing on right now. All right, I am about to drop down this because I know you'd make it the purple one. I've outsmarted you. Wait, but the frog light's Don. Actually, you know, I love frogs. Ow, that sounded like it hurt. But what does that button do, Don? Oh my no! god, I can't believe you fell for this again. Why would I make it the frog lights? I hate frogs. Why do you hate frogs? Does that mean you hate me? Alright, I'm going down the purple one. Okay, Don. Fake lava? Yeah. I knew it. No, you didn't. You checked the other two first. I have x-ray vision. Okay, Don. Now you have to make it across the lava pool. How am I supposed to make it across? My legs are strong, but not that strong. Well, maybe there's a way to make it across that's hidden from you, if you know what I mean. Okay, I'm gonna test out some- Oh, and look, there's also dirt. Dirt? I love dirt. Hey, don't break it the burned. dirt. You just burn dirt. I'm a sinner. I okay. love burning dirt. Don't disrespect my dirt. Alright, I'm getting the hang of this. Oh wait, you found the invisible block, Don. I just jumped. I thought my legs were strong enough. I just got lucky. But oh. now I know that there's blocks. Alright, right here. Ugh, got that. It's gotta be one more around here somewhere. <gasps> right here. Boom. All right. Now I just gotta snail along the trail. Okay. I'm leaving my little slime trail behind me, like a snail. And. Oh. Oh my what? God, Don. There's an invisible wall there. You didn't check. How was I supposed to know that? Why would I check for an invisible wall? Okay, Don. You have to try again. Oh my God. I have to do this all over again no way well next time you should check for an invisible wall all right now it's on my radar i'll be very careful all right let's see wall 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 no wall no wall all right i got this oh nice job don thanks Eider. okay don now you have to open this keypad door all right i don't know what the password is so i'm just gonna chop it down no don you can't do that why not it doesn't work that way all right let me see. Think about what the password was before. Zero, zero, one. No, Don, that was the wrong one. You put the password in for me last time. That is true, but think, if zero, zero, one is wrong, and there's one more zero, what is the password? I got it. Zero, 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 one. Oh Boom. my god, Don, you actually did it. Let's go. Okay, Don, there's a button hidden somewhere in this room, and you have to find it. A button? All right, I gotta get to chopping. These trees are in the way. No, Don, what if the button's on the trees? Wait, you make a good point. Hold on, let me craft my button finder. What is a button finder? You just don't know about my tech. I went to medical school. Don, be careful using a crafting table. I'm not sure if you know how to do that yet. Oh, I know how to do that. Whoa, I All didn't right. expect you to do this. I know it's got to be somewhere up here. Wait, you're telling me there was a ladder up here this whole time and I had yeah, to Don. use my medical school skills to get up here? Take this sapling in my disgust. Okay, Don. I'm not seeing a button up here. Let me go check out the corners. Everyone always hides stuff in the corner of the room. It's not even under the floor. What? All right, it's got to be over here. What was that? I, I don't know, noise. Don. I don't know what that um, is. I've never seen one of those before. Uh, me neither. I think that's for mechanics, but the door's open, so I'm gonna walk through. Okay, Don. I can't believe you accidentally found that. Yeah, I'm just a lucky duck. Okay, Don. The last part of the tunnel is these ladders. You have to get all the way up the ladders without falling. All the way up? I'm getting dizzy, Eider. Well, you should try climbing the ladders instead of whatever you were doing there. That'll make you less all dizzy. Right. You're so right. I'm gonna climb the ladders. Oh, I got frog legs. All right, I'm climbing them. Ooh, scary, but I'm making it up slowly but surely. Ooh, you're almost at the prize area. Wait, I see, I see a sign. Congratulations on escaping the security tunnel. Lame name. Get your prize below. Below? Like here? No, Don. Oh my God, Don. Where's my prize? That's not what that meant. It's it, it, it meant said below, like below the sign. Yeah, that was below the. Oh okay, now you have to God. go up again. I have to go all the way up again. Eider, this is taking so long. My feet hurt. Well, Don, you shouldn't have fallen all the way down. Well, I just do what the sign tells me to do. And that's not what the sign told you to do. That's okay, debatable. fine. I'll just get rid of the sign. All right, okay. I'm going to open this chest. This must be my prize. Books! Purple bowl! Don, don't jump off spell. again. Eider. What? That's some of the best prizes. That's a horrible prize. Why would you give me that? All right, because I'm I love books and purple tunnel. wool. Wait, I'm getting out of here. Wait, Wait, Dawn, there's another chest. Where? I don't know. You have to find it. <gasps> 
I see something. It really is below. I get it now. Oh my God, this is the best prize ever. Lime wool, frog light, and best of all, green armor. Whoa, it's even shiny, Dawn. I don't like shiny stuff, it hurts my eyes. All right, I'm getting claustrophobic. Let me out. All right, me and my frogs, we've got a mission to go on. You wanna know about it, it's for medical school. Okay, Don, whatever you say. Okay, Edder, your tunnel was pretty fun, though. I gotta give it to you. Today, we're doing a Garten of Banban -Ban mob battle. Oh, I'm totally gonna beat you guys. I know Garten of Banban -Ban like the back of my hand. All right, Cart, get to your side. Okay. All right, Don, I wonder what mob he's gonna spawn. He seems to be holding, like, a gray egg. I wonder what mobs are gray in Banban. -Ban. Ooh, I'm thinking it might be Stinger Flynn. Ooh, maybe, but I don't think he's gray. Really? Oh, he's huh. spawning Banbolina, look. Oh, all right. I think we can do better than that. Yeah, Banbolina is going to be hard to beat, but I think we could beat her with Banban, don't you think? I agree. I like how Banban's like so big. All right, let's spawn a bunch of Banbans over here, Don. Okay. Banban is so big and red and scary. He's amazing. He's going to win for us. Yeah, we win this for sure. Wow, Eider, we have so many Banbans. There's just no way they'll lose to the Bambolinas. Wait a second, what is Cart building over here? Is he making a beacon? I don't know, it looks like some kind of pyramid. You might be right. Yeah, maybe he's making an altar to ritual his Bambolinas into getting stat boosts. We should give our Banban some potions. Hmm, maybe that's true, Don. All right, I'm giving them all fire resistance. Come, help me splash them. Okay, and I think I'm going to give them some strength, Dawn. That's a really good idea, Eider. This way, our Banbans will be unstoppable. Yeah, there's no way he's winning now. Okay, now our Banbans are big and strong. I think we're ready to fight. I agree. Okay, Cart, are you ready? I am ready. Alright, you're going down. Let's take down the walls. Three, two, one, go. Wall down! Oh, oh my god. Oh my god, the Banbans are going crazy. This is an Ambolina's battle. There's no way the Banbans lose this one. Cart, you're getting destroyed. No way my tower is gonna come in here. Our strength Banbans went in crazy, Dawn. For real, our Banbans are absolutely destroying the competition. Look at these guys go. Look, some of his Banbolinas aren't even fighting. <laughs> come on, guys, he's getting the fight. Your army won't even obey you. Cart, just give up now. No, I will never give up. Now my Banbans are getting the effects from your beacon, too. Your beacon worked against you. How tragic your own beacon would work against you. We've foiled okay. your plans once again. No, these four remaining ones are gonna come in clutch here. That Banban -ban just died. Ooh, Banban's fighting over here. Come on, Banban, -ban, you, you got, got this. It. No! Let's go! How are the Banbolinas still alive? There's like 30 Banbans over here, and they're not fighting. Alright, you know what? Let's fix this. Alright, now you're gonna die, Cart. Oh my god, no. It's okay, I got one Banbolina left. He's got it. Oh, there's they're one going Banbol in? Wait, no, there's You're two Banbolinas. Wait, it's okay. Two in a dream. Only one oh. remains. No, I can't believe I lost. Okay, Don, let's go see what card is gonna spawn next. Wait, it looks like he's spawning some kind of jellyfish. Do you know who that is, Don? That's Stinger Flynn. This is him now. Wow, Don, look at them all bouncing around. We need to find something that can beat this. I agree. I've heard Stinger Flynn is very powerful, so let's make our choice carefully. Okay, Don, you know who else is powerful? Who? Don, let's spawn Nab Nab. I agree. Alright, Don, let's spawn a bunch of Nab Nabs. Wait, that one has a Banbolina on it. What? What? <laughs> even better for us. More power. That's not even better. Banbolina lost to us last time, Don. True. Banbolina is such a noob. Oh my god, look at our Banban. He's ready for battle. Wait, Don, our Nab Nabs are going on the other side. We need to stop them. They're cheating. Don't worry. I will stop them. I always encourage a respectful and fair fight. I would never cheat. Wait, Don, this one's getting through. Okay, I blocked them off, Don. They shouldn't be able to get through anymore. Good job, Eider. Now we can respectfully defeat Cart. Yo, what is this spider eye doing here? Wait, what? I think he found out that we let them go over top. Oh no, I hope he won't be angry. That was weird. Wait, Don, I think Cart's building something over there. Is he using sand? What could he possibly be building with sand? I don't know, but Cart always seems to be building something. I agree. 
I wonder what he could be doing. Maybe we should build something to help our nab nabs? Don, what do you think he could be building? Hmm. At this point, I think it might be a sandcastle. Whoa, a sandcastle? That's so cool, Don. We should build something on our side. We should build a rock castle. I don't know what that means, but sure. Okay, Don, let's put our rock castle over here. Building rock castle, building rock castle. Don, I don't think this is centered. It's okay. Have you seen the old castles? They're the best. I can't say I have. What is your favorite old castle, Don? I like the castle at Disneyland. Whoa, Disneyland castle? That's so cool, Don. Yeah, that's my favorite. Whoa, my blocks are invisible. Are you seeing this too? No, I'm actually not. Wow, look at our nab nabs. They are prepared and ready to die for us. Yeah, I think they really like this castle, Don. Wow, and it looks like we're almost finished the castle. Yep, now it just needs the peak on top. And we need a flag, Don. Yes, exactly. Do you know what kind of flag we make? A nab nab flag? A frog flag. No, I think we should put a duck flag. I think we should make a frog flag. Alright, rock, paper, scissors! Uh, paper. Uh, rock. Wait. Wait. That means I win. Alright, Don, look at our flag. This looks so good. Alright, we should see if Cart is ready to fight now. Hey, Cart! Yeah? Are you ready? Oh, I am so ready. Alright, <laughs> let's drop the wall, Don. Are you ready? I'm so ready! Three, two, one, go! Fall down! Wait, they all just died! Oh my god, they Wait. all just died! No! Wait! Oh my god! Wait, our whole Nab Nab army just died of fall damage! This is so Stinger. tragic. Stinger Flynn is crazy overpowered. But wait, Don, look at all the nab nabs on top of our castle. They're definitely gonna clutch this one. Wait, these nab nabs are beating up Stinger Flynn in the corner. Go nab nab. Yes. Oh no, they died. It looks like our nab nabs are gonna lose, Don. I know, this is so sad. I really didn't think they'd lose to Stinger Flynn. It looks like we only have four left. I really hope they clutch up. Wait, Don, I have an idea. Yeah? You see this beach over here? Look how many of these guys are in here. Oh my god, there's so many. I wonder if we can help out our nab nabs. Let's put some fake water in here. Such a good idea. I'll help too. Wait, what are you guys doing? Oh my god, Wait. Eider, it's working. They're getting destroyed. Take that, Cart. Oh my god, what is happening to my Stinger Flynn army? Look how many Stinger Flynns we killed, Don. Oh my god, so many. Come on, Stinger Flynn. Okay, I don't think our nab nabs are ever gonna get down. I think we're gonna have to teleport them down. Alright. Send them in with a valiant champ. Come on, nab nabs. Oh no, one of them already died. Eider, I think they might lose. There's only three left. Yeah, Don, it's not looking good. Stinger Flynn is too strong. No! The last oh. nab nab died. Stinger Flynn was so overpowered. That wasn't even fair. I told you guys he was gonna win. Alright, I guess it's 1-1, one, one, but we're gonna win the next round, Cart. You're going down. Ain't no yeah. way. Alright, Don, it's time for round three, and we can't lose this. We have to see what Cart is doing. Oh my god, do you see what he's holding? I think that's an Opilla bird egg. No, that doesn't look like Opilla bird. Hmm. It could be Jumbo Josh. Wait, no, it's Mini Josh. Mini Josh. Wait, that's so easy to beat, Don. I know what we should do. Jumbo Josh. That's exactly what I was thinking. Alright, Eider, do you think one Jumbo Josh can be all the mini Joshes? I think so. Alright, I will spawn one Josh. Whoa. There he is. He's so Jumbo. He is Jumbo and glorious. Wait, Jumbo Josh is going crazy. Alright, maybe we need to hold this guy back. Alright, let's hold him back, Don. Wait, no, he's still going crazy. Alright, Don, there's no way Jumbo Josh is getting out of here. Yeah, Jumbo Josh, more like Jumbo Box. Alright, Don, let's see what Cart is up to. Whoa. Oh my god, are those carrots? I'm gonna build a farm for them so they can eat their vegetables and be nice and strong. Hey, Don, I think we should build a farm for Jumbo Josh to make him grow big and strong. I agree. Maybe he'll turn into Mega Joshua. Alright, Don, let's build a farm over here. Alright, let's make sure he gets lots of peas. No peas, Don. Just carrots. Whatever you say. Okay, Don, now let's put a farm inside of here. I'll place the water, you place the dirt. Okay, sounds like a plan. Okay, never mind, I'll place the dirt too. Wait, Don! What? This is coarse dirt, this isn't regular dirt. We can't use this. Silly me. 
Out of all people, you would forget what dirt it is? I love placing dirt. Placing dirt. Placing dirt. All right, Don. Now let's place the water. Oh no, Don. There's a hole in the ground. Leakage! All right, let's fill in a little bit more water. And this water looks so good. Now we just have to hoe the dirt. All right, Don. Let's hoe the dirt. Okay. This farm is going to be so OP. It's going to make Jumbo Josh so strong. I hope he turns into Mega Joshua. What about Ultra Josh? That's a thing? No. You got me excited. I'm sorry, Don. All right, let's plant the carrots now. Okay. I'll make sure I get no peas in here. Wait, I'm eating the carrots. Oh, no. That's good for your health, Eider. You'll grow up to be big and powerful. No, Don. I hate vegetables. Really? I understand, because some kids hate vegetables, and some kids hate reading. I hate reading. All right, Don. Now, finally, let's bone meal all our crops. Bone meal. <laughs> bone meal. Okay, Eider. I got my bone meal suit on. I'm ready to bone meal some plants. Whoa, Don. Where'd you get that from? I've been staving it for this special occasion. Okay, Don. I think it's time that we drop the walls now, don't you think? I agree. I think Josh is ready. Let's let him out. Let's see if Cart is ready first. Oh, I am ready. All right. Let's get ready to rumble. Jumbo Josh is in action. Come on, mini Josh. Oh, Jumbo Josh is getting surrounded. But it looks like Jumbo Josh has this one easily. I think Jumbo Josh is going to take them all out. Almost all your Joshes are gone. Someone might say it's time to panic. Don, stop doing that. I'm sorry. I'll get rid of the panic button. Whoa, there's actually a lot of mini Joshes left still. I know, oh, mini I hope Josh. Josh isn't too hurt. There's no way Jumbo Josh loses. These guys probably aren't even doing damage. Come on, Mini Josh, make sure you eat your vegetables. Alright, Jumbo Josh has got this. There's like two Mini Joshes left, Cart. There's a few Joshes by the farm, but I don't think they stand any chance against Joshua. Here, take some carrots, Mini Josh. Get powered up. Look at him taking out all the Joshes. My button helps. Alright, I can't believe there's still Mini Joshes left. You should just give up. No way. I still got one left. Like, look at these guys. They're not even hitting Jumbo Josh. Five left. It's okay. This mini Josh has got it. Here, take some carrots. Those carrots aren't going to help you. See, he doesn't even want the carrots. Oh, no. All right, Cart. It looks like you lost. No. And that's the last of them. Jumbo Joshua won. Hey, you can't hit Jumbo Josh with a spatula. Yes, I can. No. That's cheating. What? It's fine, Don. We already won. So true. You stand no chance in the last round, Kart Racer. Alright, Don. I wonder what Kart's gonna spawn in for the final round. I don't know. I bet it's gonna be something scary, though. Wait, he's building out of iron? What? Wait, that's Opilabird? From an iron golem? That's really weird, Don. I agree. I didn't know Opilabird had pumpkins inside them. So how do you think we should beat Opilabird, Don? I think maybe we should use something that flies. Whoa, Don, maybe we should spawn Zolfius. Yes, Zolfius will never lose. That's so smart. Let's spawn a bunch of Zolfiuses just in case, because it's the final round. I agree. Let's get these guys ready to rumble. <laughs> hey, Don, doesn't this guy kind of look like a ping pong paddle? <laughs> maybe. I was thinking he looked more like an egg. I don't really see that one. Don, all I know is Zulfius is really scary. I wouldn't want this guy under my bed. Exactly. I'd be worried he might crack an egg on my head. I don't think he does that, Don. Okay, but I still wouldn't want him under my bed. Me either. Alright, let's go see what Cart is up to. Wow, he's building a treehouse? Whoa. I'm gonna build a nest because that's where birds belong. Alright, Don, what should we build for Zulfius? I think we should build him... A ping pong table. I do too, Don. Let's find something in the furniture mod, Don. I agree. That's a great idea. Alright, Don. I'm placing the ping pong table. Wow. This looks so good, Don. Maybe we can, Don. You lose. <laughs> what the heck, Eider? I wasn't ready. You know I have to put on my snowball fighting suit. Alright, try me now. You're still losing, Don. Wait, my feet are stuck in the snow. I can't move. <laughs> Ah, jokes whoa, on whoa, you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don, you cheated. You lied to me. It's just called a tactic, Eider. Don't be silly. Alright, I think Cart is probably finished by now. Let's see if he is. I agree. Cart, are you ready for a mob battle? I'm ready, Freddy. Wait, Don, do you see that armor he's wearing? Huh, what is that? Tree bark armor? 
I don't know. Maybe it gives him superpowers. We should get some armor to be safe. I agree. I know just the armor to choose. Check out this molten armor, Don. That looks so cool, Eider. Check out my armor. Whoa, you're invisible. I know. This way, they'll never find me. Okay, let's take down the walls now. All right, ladies and gentlemen, tonight we have the event of the century. We have Kart Racer 41 in the left corner, hailing from the hills, the Extreme Hills Village legend himself, leader of the Opilla Birds, and in the right corner, we have the iconic duo, Dawn and Eider, defenders and defeaters of the Rainbow Friends and Friends. Let's get ready to rumble! Whoa, Zulfis is going crazy. The Opilla Birds aren't even fighting back. Kart, your Opilla Birds don't seem to fight. Come on, Opilla Birds, fly. Wow, there's not even any in this perfectly good treehouse. Your treehouse is useless. No, why aren't they flying? Hey, Don, what do you think of this fight? I think we're gonna destroy them. They can't even reach us, stupid birds. Yeah, let's hit our own Zulfiuses just to flex. <laughs> I agree. I'm just absolutely murdering this one. Just because he looked at me funny. Hey, I'm gonna join you. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, they're, they're starting to die, Dawn. We can't hit them anymore. Okay, I think I'll give them a helping hand. I'll spawn a tree down just in case they need something to hide against. Kurt, why are your Opilla birds so useless? I don't know, man. I really thought they were gonna win. Wow, look at this Opilla bird dying. Come on, Opilla bird, fight through it. He's not even moving, Cart. Oh, no. he's dead. Whoa, Don, what is this? Are these turtles? Yeah, I like turtles. All right, Cart, any last words? No, I know he's got it. Come on, Impilla Bird. Come on. Oh, he's moving. Let's go, Impilla Bird. Fight through it. But it wasn't enough. Let's go! Victory Royale! Wow, Don, we are so good at mob battles. I know. I never thought we'd lose. Let's get this guy off of the server. What? What the heck? Don, I love this house we built. I know, right? I'm so proud of this. Me too. Oh my god, where do all these rainbow friends keep coming from? I don't know either, but they're kind of creepy. Wait, Don? I think they might be coming from that castle over there. Wait, they're definitely coming from over there, Eider. Alright, Don, I think we should go check it out. I agree, Eider. Let's go check it out. Whoa, Don, this castle looks so weird. I know, why did they put the sky right there when it's all the way up there? I don't know, Don. Let's go check it out. Yup. Whoa! There's so much stuff in here. Wait, Don. I think we have to go up to the other part of the castle right there. Yeah, that's probably right. Let's go check it out. Alright, let's cross this bridge. And we'll go up here. Whoa! There's a bunch of rainbow friends here, Don. Wait, rainbow friends? Does that mean they're friendly? Whoa, no, 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 wait, Don, no! These rainbow friends aren't friendly, Don. Really? No, they're definitely going to kill you. Oh my god. Alright, I'll be really careful. We need to fix up this hole before they get out. Alright, iron bars should be good. Don't do that again, Don. We can't let them out. Wait, Don, did you hear that? Yeah, what was that? Wait, they're breaking out, Don. We need to leave. We need to get out of here right now, Eider. Eider, what was that? Don, that was a bunch of rainbow friends, and we need to get back to our base. They can escape at any time. Oh my god, let's get out of here. Alright, Don, we need to protect our house from these rainbow friends because they're gonna come for us. Alright, Eider, let's get rid of these wooden doors first. That's a good idea, Don. And I'm going to replace it with the scanner door, and now when I look at the door, I can walk in, but if the rainbow friends look at the door, they won't be able to get through. Oh, Eider, that's insane. Alright, I'm gonna place my own scanner door. Alright, and now we have these scanner doors, the rainbow friends won't be able to get into our house. Alright, I think we need to add more security, though. Alright, Don, I think what we need to add next is a lava moat. Let's start breaking all these blocks on the outside right here. And I'm gonna race you to the other side. Go. Alright, I bet you can't beat me. I don't know about that, Don. I'm breaking blocks so fast right now. Don, you are definitely going to lose. I don't even see you on the other side yet. No way. And I think I won, Don. Alright, Don, now let's fill this entire moat with lava, and I bet you'll lose this race, too. No way I lose again. Oh my god, there's gonna be so much lava, Don. Our rainbow friends will never make it past this. Alright, Don, I think I'm winning. No way. You're not even done with the first side yet. Oh my god, Don, this is close. And I think I won, Don. Let's go. No way you beat me again, Eider. Alright, Don, you know what? I'll say it was a tie, because I'm not sure if I actually won. Alright, sounds fair. 
But you did miss a few spots right here. All right, Don. Now we have a moat to block the rainbow friends. Wait, Eider. How are we supposed to get back to our base now? All this lava's in the way. You're right, Don. We need to add a way for us to get across. What I think we should do, Don, is make a secret tunnel. Yeah, that sounds super cool. Okay, so we'll break the blocks right here like this. And then I'll get some pistons and place them like this. And now we'll put the dirt back. And we'll put this on the other side as well. And now, as you can see, this blends into the ground. And we just need to make a way to open it. How cool is that, Don? That's so cool, Eider. You're so good at redstone. So we'll place redstone along the sides like this. And then we'll put a secret lever right here. A secret lever? And we'll keep placing redstone. And we're almost done placing redstone. We just have to place a few more under the lava. And now, as you can see, when you press this lever, the door opens like that. Oh my god, I can't wait to use the secret lever. Alright, now we have to put a passageway under the lava. Now we're going to place two trapdoors right here, and these will let us go into swimming mode, and we can go right under the lava. Hey, that is so smart. So now let's just break a few more blocks right here, and now we'll be able to get up into our base like this. Oh my god, the rainbow friends will never know where we went. Alright, Dawn, now I think we should add some landmines to stop the rainbow friends. That sounds like a great idea. I love landmines. So I have this special type of landmine where it looks just like gravel, but if you stand on it, it explodes. Hey, really? That seems sick. Can I try it? Of course you can, Dawn. Oh my god. And see, just like that, it explodes. The rainbow friends will have no idea. This is gonna be so epic. Alright, Don, now we have to fill in this hole, because the Rainbow Friends probably won't like this hole being out here. Yeah, we can't let them know what's about to hit them. Alright, Don, now we'll just replace all the gravel with gravel mines, and the Rainbow Friends will have absolutely no idea that all this gravel is mines. This is gonna be so good. I'll have absolutely no idea what hit them either. Alright, now I think we need to add another defense around our house. That sounds like a great idea. I think we should put a bunch of lasers around the house. Oh my god, I love lasers. Alright, let's place a laser right here, and then we'll place one a few blocks up, and as you can see, a big red laser comes out of the laser blocks. Isn't that so cool? Wait, this is so cool. The Rainbow Friends will never get past this. Alright, now we just have to put this all around our base. Let's race again, Don. No way you beat me this time. I don't know, Don. I'm placing lasers really fast. Don, you're so far behind. I lost pretty bad, I'll admit it. Alright, but you have another chance, because we have to place some on the top. Okay, this one, no way I lose. I don't know about that, Don. Oh my god, wait- Okay, I think I beat you, Eider, but my lasers don't seem like they're working. That's so weird, Don, because my lasers work fine. My lasers work perfectly. Alright, Don, and now our base is looking really secure. I mean, look at these lasers. There's no way the Rainbow Friends can get through these. This is such a good security house, but I think we need some eyes on the Rainbow Friends. We should use a camera to put it in their base. That's a great idea, Don. Let's go check on the Rainbow Friends again. Alright, Don, let's be really careful checking out these Rainbow Friends. We don't know if they got out yet. Alright, I'm super scared to go look. Oh my god, Don, I think they're breaking the glass even more. Oh my god, Eider, they're definitely gonna get out soon. Let's go back to the house. But wait, Don, we need to put some security cameras here first so we can check on them. Okay, so we'll put a security camera right in front right here. And we'll put one really high up here. And we'll put one in the corner right here. And we'll put another one right here. And now with this camera monitor, we can check on the Rainbow Friends at any time. Isn't this so cool? Wait, this is insane. Oh my god. Alright, Don, let's go back to our base now. Alright, let's get back really quick before these rainbow friends come out. Good idea, Don. Alright, Don, now we have all this defense, but we don't have any weapons yet, so I think we should build a giant arrow machine. Hey, that's such a good idea. We need to have a good offense, too. Alright, Don, so we'll go into the house, and then let's go all the way up to the roof, and then we'll place a bunch of dispensers right here. And we have to load all these dispensers up with arrows. Alright, now we're gonna place a bunch of blocks back here. And we'll put redstone on top of all of these blocks. And now let's connect this redstone over here. And we're almost done. Now let's get a lever and put it in the middle. And now this should power all our dispensers. Are you ready, Don? Yeah. When the rainbow friends come, can I push the lever? Sure, Don. But watch this. Oh my god. That's gonna work so well against them. I know, right? And look, we can even spam it like this. It won't stand a chance. Alright, Don, but now I think they might get suspicious if they see all these dispensers up here. Wait, that's right. I'm gonna put some 
banners on them. Good idea, Dawn, but maybe don't use green because green is a terrible color. Maybe we should use purple instead. Green is the best color. No way we're using purple. No, Dawn, we should use purple. Whoa, Dawn, why are you destroying all the purple? All right, you know what, Dawn? How about my half gets to be purple and your half gets to be green? How about that? Sure, I dare. All right, now the rainbow friends are gonna have no idea there's dispensers up here. They'll think we just decided to add our flag. This is gonna be so cool when they come. And as you can see, the dispensers still work. Epic. All right, Dawn, but now the rainbow friends might be suspicious if they see all this anyway, so I think we should build something nice for them. Let's build a beach. That's a good idea, Dawn. Let's go build it over here. All right, sounds like a plan. Okay, let's break a bunch of blocks over here so we can put the water in it. And we'll keep breaking blocks. Breaking and we'll make blocks. it look kind of natural because this is a beach. Breaking blocks, breaking blocks, breaking blocks. I love breaking blocks, Dawn. Yeah, me too. All right, now we'll fill the bottom layer with sand because a beach doesn't usually have dirt. Wait, that's so true. Let's see how good you are at placing sand. We are so good at building the beach. All right, Dawn, I think our beach looks really good, but I think we're missing something. What are we missing, Eider? We're missing water. Wait, that's so true. All right, let's add some water. No, but we're not going to add any water. We're going to add fake water. So when the rainbow friends go to swim in the beach, they'll die from the water. Wait, that's such a good idea. I never even thought about using fake water. Let's fill this whole thing up with fake water. Placing water, placing water, but it's fake. All right, Dawn, and now, as you can see, I take damage when I go in this water. Oh my god. The rainbow friends are gonna have no idea. All right, now let's add some sand on the outside. All right, Dawn, and as you can see, this looks so much better. The rainbow friends will not be able to resist swimming in here. I know, this looks like such a fun beach. All right, Dawn, I think we should add some beach chairs to the beach just to make it a little bit more friendly. Hey, these look so good. Oh my god, I just want to sit down and relax. Wait, Dawn, this beach isn't for you, remember? This is for the rainbow friends. Oh, right. I better be careful or I may end up going swimming on accident. All right, Dawn, now let's place a diving board right here. And I'll put ladders on the front to go up. Hey, I'm gonna try it. Wait, Dawn, that's fake water. Watch out. My bad. I almost got carried away. All right, Dawn, I think what we need to build now is a watchtower. Wait, I love watchtowers. Let's make one. All right, let's build up like this, and we'll go really high like that, and we'll build up on the other sides as well. Wow, Don, this is looking really cool so far. This is looking absolutely amazing. Okay, Don, now let's put some wood in the gap like this, and we'll build it all the way up to the top. All right, and now our tower looks really good, but I think we need to add some security to this door because the rainbow friends are just going to be able to go through like this. That's so true. We can't let them in our tower. Okay, so I'm going to place a keypad door, and what should I make the password, Don? Um, let's make it 0008. That way the rainbow friends will never guess it. Good idea, Don. And now I'm putting the keypad in. And as you can see, now we have to put the code in to go through the door. This is so cool. This is insane. This is such a good tower. But I think we're missing one thing, Eider. Do you know what it is? I think I know what it is. Um, banners. Let's decorate. No, that's not what I was thinking. I think we need to add a ladder, Don, so we can get up. Oh, that too. And now, Don, we need to add a floor up here so we don't fall through by accident. That's a good idea. And let's put some fences up here just in case we fall off the edge. And now we'll be able to shoot the rainbow friends from up here and they'll have no way to get up to us. But wait, how will we get back to our base? Wait, you're right, Don. I think we need to make a parkour back to our base so they can't follow us. Hey, that's such a good idea. There's no way the Rainbow Friends can beat us at parkour. Okay, so you have to test these jumps while I build them, okay, Don? All right, sounds good. I got this. I'm a parkour master. All right, Don. Easy. Good job, Don. Okay, so now we'll place a bit harder of a jump back here. All right, I got this. One and two. Easy. Let's go, Don. All right, now we'll just add a few more jumps to go back. And now you should be able to get back to the roof. All right, one, two, and this is a big one. Three. Let's, Let's go, go, Dawn. Now our watchtower is complete. No way the Rainbow Friends will be able to complete that parkour. All right, Dawn. Now I think we're going to need gear to fight the Rainbow Friends, so I think we should build a secret armory. Hey, that's so true. I need some armor if I'm going to face up against these guys. Okay, let's go back down into the bottom of our base, and we need to hide it somewhere that they'll never find it. I think we should put it in the fridge. 
No, Don, I don't think there's enough room in here. But maybe we could put it beside the fridge, like right here. That seems like a great idea. So let's add a sticky piston on the outside. And we'll put our block right here. And now let's put a secret lever right here. And when we press the lever, the floor goes back, so they will never find the room. You're so good at redstone. But now we should hide the lever even more in case they found this. So if I put a slab right here, there's no way to see it unless you crouch. Oh my god, there's no way rainbow friends can crouch. Have you seen the size of those guys? They're ginormous. Okay, so now let's go down into the armory and we'll add some cool armor and tools to fight them. Let's dig this area out, Don, and we'll keep digging this way. Okay, I think we dug enough, Don. I think you just have to break these ones now. And let's line this whole wall with bedrock. Bedrock is so strong. It's almost as strong as the rainbow friends. I think it might be even stronger than the rainbow friends. Hopefully it is, because we don't want them to get in the armory. Alright, now we need to place a bunch of dispensers to get our armor from. So we'll place them like this, and we'll fill this whole thing with protection for obsidian armor like this. Obsidian armor? That's gonna be so powerful. I know, Don. And now let's just place the obsidian boots down here. And there's a full set of OP armor in here, but now we need weapons. Alright, I think we should use the netherite great axe. What is that, Don? This is the absolute strongest weapon. I can one-shot you with this. Wait, this thing looks so cool, Don. I'm gonna put it in there. Alright, and now we have our netherite great axe in there. Now we just need to give ourselves some bows and some arrows. Alright, and now I've given myself an OP bow, and we'll just add this to here. And finally, I'll give myself some harming arrows, because harming arrows do a lot of damage. And now we'll place a fence here, and we'll place a pressure plate right here. And now if I walk inside of this, it'll give me all of the items. And now let's stand on these at the same time, Don. Are you ready? Alright, Don. Three, two, one, go! Let's go! Oh my god, Don. We look so cool! We are so geared! Alright, Don. Now I think we should check on the rainbow friends to see if they broke out yet. Hey, I'm so scared, Eider. They might be coming for us already. Alright, Don. It is getting dark out here. I think they might have escaped. It's so dark. I'm getting scared, Eider. Alright, Don. Now I'm going to check the security cameras and let's see if they got out. Oh my god, Don. They're not there anymore and I can't find them anywhere. We need to get to the armory fast. Alright, Don. Let's hit the secret button and go down. Alright, let's go. Alright, let's go down here quick. Okay, let's get armored up. Alright, you ready, Don? Oh, you went. Okay, Don, now okay. we're geared out and ready to fight. I feel a little more confident now. I think I can take him. Let's go find the rainbow friends. Oh my god, Don, they're right here. He's chasing you. Wait, lead them to the oh mines, my Don. God. Lead them to the mines. Right. I'm leading them towards all of our traps. They're not ready for this. Oh my god, he just walked over and it did oh nothing, my god. Don. He's quick. so strong. Quick, go to the beach. Alright, I'm gonna lure him in the water. He won't be ready for it. Wait, he's walking in the mines and they're not even working. Okay, the water has to get him. Look, the water's killing him, Don. Oh my god, I'm so low on HP. Alright, I'm gonna use my bow. Look, he's gonna die to the water. Oh no, he got out. Don, quick, get to the, to the archer tower. Oh no, open the door I'm entering quickly. the keypad, Don. Go, go, go. Alright, Don, let's get up the tower. Quick, go. Alright, I'm going up the tower as fast as I can. Quick, Don, the rainbow friend's gonna get you. Wait, I can't even see it from up here, Don. I can't get up. It keeps shooting me through the wall. I fell off. Don't worry, Don. I'm shooting it for you. Okay, thanks, Eider. He's just taking all these arrows. Oh my god, he's hitting me. Never mind. All right, we have to go back to our house fast. All right. Oh my god, Don. Oh my god, Don. Let's get oh, back no. fast. Let's use the arrows. Oh wait, we can't I even use it. the arrows. I he's already it. here. What are we going to do? He's hitting me through the wall. Don, I think I know what we have to do. What do we have to do? We have to go fight him ourselves. All right. All right, let's go back down. Are you ready to let him in the house? I'm ready. Let's All go. Right. Oh my god, oh I'm my doing god. so much damage. I'm getting him. Wait, we could do this. We could beat the rainbow friend. Oh my god, he does so much damage to me, Don. I'm getting him. I got this. Oh my god, Don, I'm almost dead. He's running away from me. He's scared. Oh my god, Don, I'm on three arts. I'm chasing him. Oh my him. god, Don't he's worry. still chasing me. You have to hit him. Don't worry. I got this. I got him, Eider. Let's go. We beat the rainbow friends! I can't believe we did it, Don. Let's go! If you guys like this video, you should watch this one right here. Oh my god, I love that video. It's my favorite. Me too, Don.